does is split. The world was young and the moon was eager to send a message to man who had just started to inhabit the earth. The moon asked many animals but each in turn responded that they were too busy to take the message to man. The moon kept searching until at last she came across a crocodile sleeping on the bank of a great river. Hello crocodile, said the moon softly. I have a message for man. Do you think you can deliver it from me? The crocodile looked up in awe at the beautiful moon and was unable to say no. I will deliver your message to man. Softly again, the moon responded. Tell man, as I sleep and sleeping wake, so also shall you sleep and sleeping wake. The crocodile was careful to memorize this word for word. When it was confident it would not forget the important message, it began its long journey to where man was living. It set off, as crocodiles do on land, very, very slowly. The crocodile did its best day and night until a hare happened across the crocodile and immediately began laughing. <laughs> in such a haste i am taking an important message from moon to man you a messenger <laughs> of all creatures a slow crocodile it cannot have been a very important message oh it is and what is the message i shall not say said the crocodile still doing its best to get ahead okay if you tell me this important message perhaps i shall deliver it for you i am much faster than you after all, this made sense to the crocodile. Hmm. Perhaps you are right. It is a very important message and you must deliver it exactly as it was told me and exactly as I will tell it to you. The hare was excited and scampered round and round the crocodile. Very well, said the crocodile, who carefully and deliberately gave the hare word for word, the message from moon to man. The hare, by nature, is so very forgetful. And so it was that after dashing about for a few days, completely by accident, it came across man. Aha! Man, I have an urgent message from the moon for you. With this, man gathered round to hear what message the moon has sent them. <clears throat> the moon says this, as I sleep, I will not wake. So also shall you sleep and never wake. Man was frightened. What doom did the moon intend for them? Man cowered away and hid. The moon was high up in the sky and looking down noticed all the animals roaming the earth. But she did not see man. She came down from the sky to talk. Crocodile, did you deliver the message as I told you to man? No moon. As I was doing my best to find man, I came across her who offered to take the message more swiftly to man than me. The moon immediately went high up again into the sky and scoured the earth for her. The moon noticed a small dust cloud and once again lowered herself to the ground. Sure enough, it was her running this way and that as usual. Her, stop running and listen. Did you deliver my message to man? Yes, I did! It was this. As I sleep, I will not wake. So also shall you sleep and never wake. Suddenly, moonbeam surrounded the hair and gathered it up and held it tight. From nowhere, the moon gathered a big stick and began trying to hit the hair who was twisting and turning as best as it could. In desperation, it scratched and kicked at the angry moon's face until bits of the moon flew here and there. Just before the moon let go of the hair, however, it took one last swipe and the stick found its mark right on the nose of the hair. The two, having both had quite enough, finally separated. The moon rushing straight up into the sky and the hair, finding all the speed that it could, 
ran as far and as fast away from the moon holding its very sore nose in its paws. And that is why today the hare has a split in its nose and the moon, if you look carefully, has long deep marks and scratches on her face.